Hey, what's up, guys? Hello, Shaq, and welcome to another Castle Collage video. So, I thought, promise you guys I'll make a mental review. Um, so, here, here's the video about our reviewing. So, I'll do two attacks. Um, to each each to a uh, HBM, I'll do battle, do dungeon, dungeon maybe not, but I'll do raids. I'll do arena. I'll show you guys how this year works out all in all of this. So let's go ahead and and go find a battle. So yep, I'll go with attack first, obviously. So yep, go with that first. So to me. Uh, my personal impression of this hero, this hero is pretty good to me. Um, it's gonna be pretty overpowered uh, at some point because it stuns everything, guys. As I said in my review, it stuns everything, which is like crazy. You won't see that a lot. And most of heroes just gonna stun a few, but this is gonna stun every. So. That's a big thing right here Mentor has. I place at the bottom place all my spells and see how it goes. So whenever this hero prods, it's gonna be good. So yep, everything is stunned. Look at that. Even towers are stunned. That's something we don't see in Cast Clash really often. So that's one of the special things he does. Um, it actually stuns towers and stuff. So that's one thing you wanna look up. If you're like uh, new to this hero, you don't know what this hero does. That's one thing you wanna know about this hero because that's one of his special thingy, I guess. So, so I'm gonna lose this. Uh, I'm gonna win this raid, but I'm still every single thing. That's awesome. Look at that loot over there. So that's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that and leave. So. I'll tell you that this hero is really good. I'm showing in dungeon this time. I'm gonna heal my heroes re real quick right now, so that you know uh, we don't mess up somehow. So I'm gonna make the same spells. Uh, this overall the the spells I always use. You guys are wondering why I keep doing all these spells and stuff over and over again. Just this is all the spells I I keep. I'm I'm using as always. So. Yep, I'm gonna do some dungeon. So let's pick a random dungeon. Okay, let's do this 38 dungeon and we're gonna place our pumpkin dude and then it's gonna go prod. So this this hero is a tanker and its attack speed is as same as Paladin 1.5 second per attack. Yeah, we go. It stuns again and it stuns the tower, which is a big thing to me um, because. We in in Cast Clash you don't see uh, do not have a lot of heroes that stun tower and in dungeons it's gonna help you. Um, if you get spirit mage, if you get mentor, it's gonna speed up your your game process and you're gonna you have more easier rate and it's gonna be a good time for you in Cast Clash because it's gonna be easy, uh, it's gonna be a easy easier rates and stuff like that and you're gonna have two quick legends and you can use those gems. Yep, he's gonna die over there, but that's no problem. My Thunder God and Drew is gonna clear everything right here. So, yeah, there you go. It stuns everything. You see, this how it's not moving at all when it stuns. So, that's one thing that it really surprised me that this hero is that good because standing towers, it's not just about standing it. It's gonna be really good. Uh, let's go. I have to say that Tan God is still better than this guy. Um, it's just my personal op opinion over here. But you know, whatever you guys think, uh, to me, Tan God is still the man. Yep, still the man. It's gonna be the best. You know, if I choose me to Tan God, I'll choose Tan God because Tan God is really good, guys. Uh, this here is good. So. Yep, yeah, clean this up real quick after this. You're gonna hit for HBM, so heavy monsters. So, heavy monsters gonna, um, if I'm not wrong, it only stuns uh, heroes and not uh, troops. So, we're gonna see in the HBM later. 
but yep, we're gonna do the usual G. Yep, 38 shots. That's pretty good. So take that and leave and go go ahead and and click the HBM button. Yep, and then you're gonna play some HBM, see how it goes from there. So I'm sure two of HBM. Um, I'm gonna show you one actually because HBM takes pretty long and it's almost the same thing. So I'm good. I'm gonna talk this real quick. So it's just the usual thing. You're just gonna have like a lot of legends. Have a one, two, five. Mm, pretty high up there. But if you have a good HBM setup like mine, it should be good. So this base, I'm not sure if I review it already, but this base is pretty beast. It's a Town Hall 17 pace, if you guys are wondering. If you don't want to copy this base, go ahead and do it, but yeah. So, yeah, this base is pretty good to me, guys. Um, as you can see, my hero level are not that high, but it clears G, guys. And with no garrison, you also can clear G, but I'm lazy to actually take all my garrison and then put in it again. So, I'm not gonna do that, but it actually uh, takes out no garrison. So, you can take out no garrison with G. With just low level heroes, no problem just with this space, but you need to have Town Hall 17 to have this guy. So, yep. Oh yeah, I remember what the Minotaur does. So the Minotaur actually stuns uh, troops, but not flying troops, but crown troops. So that's one special thing about him. His prod only deals damage to crown troops instead of flying troops. So that's one thing you want to take note of. Want to have him? He doesn't stun like I don't think. Yeah, he doesn't stun flying troops like Sweet Mage, uh, Griffins. He doesn't stun that. He just stuns some uh, crown troops like maybe. Um, uh, 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 guardians and stuff like that so that's one thing you want to know but it's also good because it only stuns hero you focus on heroes just when people attack you they are mostly gonna use Griffin yep for me in my case I, I'm being attacked by Griffins a lot of times so I'm thinking Griffins is uh, it's a very common attack strategy by a lot of people so it's gonna only focus on heroes so that's a good thing to uh, take note of that but yep after this I'll show you 5 plays of arena guys with miniature so yep stay tuned guys so as you can see G3 yeah I think my industrial prod right here and you see uh, maybe maybe prod maybe yeah look at that the crown troops like damage and griffin takes no damage so Griffins are pretty immune to this guy's prod so that's one thing to take note of here comes G4 so I don't think he's gonna prod one more time because uh, of his attack speed speed because his attack speed is really stupid guys if his attack speed were to be better this hero would be, would be a really good addition to my uh, It'll be a really good hero. It's a good hero, but if you could increase the attack speed by Lisa, uh, it'll be a lot better because this guy, one of its major problems, this guy is because of his attack speed. It's so freaking slow, guys. 1.5 seconds. Same attack speed as his Paladin, guys. It's not like he's gonna deal like 1 million damage per attack. So that's really slow to me, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but really that's ridiculous guys the speed taken for him to uh, hit once I'm so slow guys so that's HBM and arena why is arena I mean all oh, these guys easy why is arena I mean it's also needed because um I know I'm not sure if I can show in this video but if I can I'll explain it to you it just means to attack so freaking slow I don't know if I can show you that but uh, the main explanation is whenever mini prop mini top prods uh, in the arena because of my cupid and my um, pumpkin dude, it's gonna stun everything. Imagine everything's attacking your main thing right now, and mini top just prods, everything just stops. So you're able to defeat higher levels people without mini top, you're gonna trash them, and people with mini top, you're gonna have a fair battle, but. 
it's gonna be good I guess when I have a meaningful plot everything is done pretty much I think it's showing this uh, arena man actually hold on yeah whenever it prod it just stops everything so it can prod for up to 3 seconds so that 3 seconds can help you a lot uh, imagine yeah everything's attacking right now it means I would prod where I attack everything will be stunned and I'll be have a, having a chance to lose to this guy in the arena so that's a big thing for me so right there uh, arena is really neat it's like ah oh, this guy attacks me so low nope Minso is actually quite helpful in arena. Yep. Yeah, right. So this guy also has a Minso. Let's see how this goes from this guy. So I think he's gonna prod first. You see? I don't know. He has a higher level than me, but and uh maybe. Let's see about this. Yep. It's just a matter of who's gonna prod. And the one who brought gonna have a win hand. So he brought and everything is pretty much stunned. Look at that, right? Isn't that that explains everything? Everything is done, and I lost it. You know that if that guy didn't have a missile right there, I would have won that. So that's one thing to take note of him. Gonna have him in arena. He's pretty good in arena overall. He's gonna be good in raid to uh, dungeon also. He's I'm not really sure you can put him in or not. Cause it's gonna do nothing in the whole whole HBM instead of just poking one time, just one time. It's gonna do a not gonna do a lot for you. Arena is gonna be a good addition. HBM not really sure. Rich is gonna do the great addition too. So this hero is worth it. Worth every money of yours. Go if you can have you had you can buy it. Go ahead and buy it because this hero is beast. Um, speed Max is still the queen in my opinion. He's still, she's still working fine. She's the best because uh, she's that good. So, yep. Yeah. So end of this video. So peace out, guys.